All right, people. Mike Salen here again. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today, I'm just going to go through my platinum trophy journey for Resident Evil 4, uh, the remake, uh, the PS5 version, is what I played. Um, it was out in PS4 as well. Don't know if there's much difference between the versions, but yeah, this is the one I played. First trophy, really simple one, just shooting one of those little statue guys. There's 15 of those in the game, and they unlock the primal knife once you destroy them all. Uh, nice one, stranger. I think that's just for doing the first request for the merchant, destroying five blue medallions. Uh, you really want to do all the challenges because uh, you can unlock the upgrade ticket for a weapon and give yourself infinite ammo. Uh, knife basics, I think that was for parrying someone, this was the first place I'd actually parried somebody. Um, shield your eyes, oh yeah this is for taking out like five creatures with a flashbang. So the best place to do that is just with these crows in the big giant boss arena before, uh, before you ever have to fight him actually. Amateur shooter, uh, I, think, I think this is just for getting an S rank. Um, or maybe it's just for completing the first uh, gun range uh, place, but you do have to S rank all those uh, shooting challenges. I do that later. Um, this trophy, again, Harpoon Hunter or whatever, this is just for defeating the big lake monster, nor one of the boss battles. Uh, let's see, talk about near death experience. I think this is for letting Ashley get grabbed. And then you rescue her in the nick of time or whatever. Uh, I think I had to go out of my way to let somebody grab her. Uh, because nobody was grabbing her because I was too good at taking out the enemies. So I had to stand around for a while and wait for that to happen. Uh, grilled uh, Big Cheese, that's just for defeating uh, this boss Mendez or whatever his name is. Um, I Maybe I just pulled that name out of nowhere. Maybe his name isn't Mendez. But I know Ramon and Sadler are the other two. Or Salazar are the big two other bosses. I always forget the first guy's name. Uh, let's see. Another trophy. Masterpiece. Yeah, this is for using the upgrade ticket. To fully like up, up, power up a weapon. I did it on the Magnum. Which I unlocked through the Mercenaries mode. By S ranking all the levels, uh, you get the Magnum from the bonus shop that you can buy, and it really makes the game a lot easier if you have the infinite ammo Magnum. Uh, Overkill that trophy is just taking out an enemy with the big cannon, uh, pretty simple one. Never heard it coming, uh, that's for stealthily taking out this guy. Uh, he's down in the basement, it's a pretty tense, scary moment when you first run into him. And you don't really know what you're doing against him yet. Uh, astute Appraiser. I think that's for selling an item that's worth over 100k. Uh, you have to get like a big crown and add like five or four or five jewels or diamonds or whatever to it. And then that's how you can sell that. Uh, this trophy, uh, wave goodbye right hand. Uh, this is for taking out this boss. I suppose it's a mini boss or whatever. Uh, but taking him out, he's pretty easy with the Magnum on assisted. It's not really a problem. Uh, hope you like thrill rides. That was for getting through both sections of the uh, of the cart mine cart section without taking any damage. Little tricky, but if you become a good shot, it's not too bad. Uh, my perfect piece. This is just for fully upgrading uh, a weapon, or maybe just upgrading one level of a weapon. Uh, but I think it was for fully upgrading that weapon. Uh, capacity compliance. Uh, this is for going up the elevator without uh, letting anybody else jump on. Uh, it's pretty easy if you have a machine gun. Nobody can really uh, get to you. Uh, you talk too much. Uh, this was for throwing a grenade in Ramon's mouth during the boss fight. Just get a grenade in there and you'll get that trophy. can be a little tricky to set it up. Uh, you need to get good with your throwing uh, aim ability or whatever. Uh, no thanks bro, that's just for taking out Ramon. Uh, just finishing the boss fight. Pretty easy again when you have the Magnum and you've leveled it up and everything. Uh, 
trick shot. I think this was for taking out like five enemies at once during this uh, during this shooting range. I'm pretty sure that's what I got that for. Uh, again, you have to S rank all the shooting ranges. Uh, I think that's what this real dead eye. That's what this trophy was for. Just S ranking the last uh, the last shooting range mission. I think there's like eight of those. I want to say. Um, oh yeah, this was pretty tricky. Two bugs, one stone. You have to shoot two of the bugs inside the regenerator with one bullet. It can be tricky to get them to line up. Um, you need a sniper rifle and the biometric scanner scope or whatever to be able to do that. He used to be a good guy. Uh, that's for defeating this boss. Uh, I can never pronounce his name right. Krauser or something like that. Um, but yeah, pretty simple when you have the Magnum. Uh, Jack of all trades. Uh, guess this was for... Oh yeah, this is for getting all the merchant uh, requests. Doing all of those. I think there's 15 of those um and yet it is worth doing them uh at least even in the like harder difficulties at least doing half of them uh so that you can get like 30 30 of the uh special currency to buy an upgrade ticket or whatever um your small time uh this is just for defeating the final boss uh saddler uh when he's turned into his big uh mutant form or whatever you would call this Ada will throw you in the rocket launcher and you just get him down revolution wind up that's for getting the last of these 15 statues again pretty happy that this is the only real collectible in the game uh, you do have to get all the treasures in the game uh, there's quite a lot of those but what makes this different from other collectibles is that they actually sell you a treasure map which basically shows you where all the treasure is and it's a lot better than most games where you're just having to watch a YouTube video to find all these different items uh, they actually give you a treasure map and show you where those are and the only other collectible really aside from weapons and stuff like that is just the little statue for those guys uh, Sprinter uh, yeah, this was for beating uh, a run in under 8 hours. That was my assisted run uh, when I was doing a knife. I think I was doing a knife only pistols run on a second playthrough. Um, oh yeah, Silent Stranger. Also, you don't talk to the merchant in that run. And when you don't talk to the merchant, uh, you'll get another trophy. Uh, you should definitely do that on a second run. Uh, minimalist. Uh, I believe that was for only using the knife and pistols on that run. But I'm not quite sure. Maybe that was for not using any healing items. Um, I remember there's a trophy for that. Promising Agent. Uh, yeah, I think that was for beating Professional with an A rank. Uh, I got an S rank on that run. So I uh, got a bit higher. But you do Professional to get the Street Sweeper. Which then, uh, oh yeah, Proficient Agent, that's also for beating Professional, I believe. And yeah, again, you really want to do Professional just to get the Street Sweeper. And then it makes doing your S plus rank on Hardcore really quite easy. And yeah, you complete all these challenges, uh, which unlock different items. I think you get Ashley's Armor. Uh, and you get uh, Leon's... Uh, you get Leon's uh, helmet that lets him uh, use aim assist on any difficulty and yeah all these different cosmetic items and stuff um, some of them don't do anything but yeah the best ones to get are definitely Ashley's armor and I think you get the chicken hat eventually from one of these unlocks and yeah the gas mask the Chicago sweeper um, those are what you really want to the Street Sweeper and Ashley's Armor because then it made your hardcore run really quite easy. Uh, Peerless Agent, again, that was for uh, beating Professional, I suppose, with an S rank or something like that. These all unlocked at the same run because I just combined a load of stuff into one run. Um, Gun Fanatic, uh, yeah, this was for getting the... Uh, street sweeper uh, you just have to go reclaim it from the merchant or whatever and put it in your actual attache case and that's how you unlock it 
Um, let's see why. Uh, okay, I think I just left in that clip because it was pretty cool that I parried that guy and knocked him into a bear trap. So I guess I just saved that footage. So that's just in there randomly. Uh, mission accomplished S plus. Yeah, you have to do a standard run. It's good practice for hardcore uh, getting an S plus in that run. You have to do it in under five hours. And then on hardcore, you have to do it on uh, under five and a half hours. I was very close there, had 10 minutes to spare. Uh, and then you get your chicken hat. And then the last thing you should do then probably is another run where you don't heal at all. Uh, called the frugalist run or whatever. Don't use any healing items. Just play on assisted for that one. And then you'll, you'll, you'll unlock the platinum trophy. So yeah, Resident Evil 4. Uh, remake great game really cool platinum nothing that really annoyed me about it it was just good fun for like 99% of the time and yeah highly recommend